Hi, I'm Joe Alvarez. Welcome to Fire Engineering's Training Minutes. And today we're going to talk about the garage door and keeping it up and secure while firefighters are working inside of a burning building. Okay, we're up by the garage door now. What happens is when a heat builds up inside the garage, the springs will let loose and the door will now come down on firefighters. There is a video on YouTube from North Carolina going back a, a good amount of time now, but you can still Google that and watch that. And you'll see the firefighters that are inside and a garage door comes down on them while they're still inside trying to fight the fire and it gets pretty nasty on them. So we want to stop that from happening. We want to be progressive here. So what we're going to do is we're going to take, this is one method. We're going to take a six foot hook. We're going to jam it up underneath the track area. He's going to kick the bottom in to give it a little bit of stability. And this is one way to prevent the wheels from coming down on the track. Okay, that's only one method. Okay, another method is by using our channel lock pliers. All right, this firefighter is gonna go into the area where he needs to be, and he's gonna grab each system and hold on to it for just a brief second while I explain it. The larger ones, we are putting on the outside, and it's actually caving in around the channel, and it's preventing the wheels from coming down. If he did not have the larger one and he had a smaller one, what's gonna happen is the smaller one is on the flat side. And that is preventing, again, the wheel from rolling down. When you put these on, you must make sure that they're secured, that they're not going to move when a door comes down on top of them. OK, the third method, or another method, is going to be taking a Halligan tool and putting the forked end over the track. Now with a flathead ax striking the ad's end to drive it in over so, he has a, so the firefighter has a good bite. Good. What happens is it's almost as if you're like forcing a door. You're going to go until you hit the stop. Well, with the, with the Halligan, he's going until he actually hits where the flat surface is on the actual track. Now, the firefighter with the Halligan tool is going to actually bend it and twist this piece. Good. Good. Now, what happens is if we look, you're going to see how this whole track has been twisted out of alignment. If this door comes down, it's going to prevent the door from going all the way to the ground. It might come down halfway. Remember, what we want to do is we're trying to go up as high as we can with that bite, but we were just doing a little demonstration here. Makes it a little bit easier for you guys to see us when we're, when we're operating with the cameras. So normally we go up a lot higher, we drive it and do a nice little twist, and it keeps the door up higher. If you did do it down midway in a door, it's really no biggie because what's going to happen is the door's only going to come down to that point. It's going to stop. Firefighters should be crawling when it's really bad in here, so you really shouldn't be standing up. And if you are standing up and you decide to run out, what's going to happen is the door is going to keep you down on the ground. It's that simple. All right? Okay, we're going to do two more methods here on this door track. Okay? Mike Champo gave me a, a little bit of an idea, and he's talked about crimping this. At first, we use the vice grips, and we just grab the channel to hold it. Sometimes if the door comes down, that can weaken it if you didn't do it properly. So Mike said, why not just grab that and pinch it using your vice grips to do that? So we're going to do that first, and then we're going to use the flathead axe. And as you can see, by him crushing this down and making it tighter, he's crushing that. All right, that's another technique. Good job. All right, pull that off. You can see that we just crushed the channel. That wheel's not going to come down. So you have two methods if you're using your channel lock. The one that I showed you a couple minutes earlier, where you could pinch it on it, but you got to make sure it holds tight. And then there's another method that Mike was telling us about, where you grab this and you pinch and roll it around. And what it does is it also messes up the channel on us. The last method that we're going to use is we're going to take, whether it's a flathead ax, a halligan tool, any type of a striking tool, a maul, we're now going to take and we're going to hit this, and we're going to crush this in and, again, preventing the door from coming down. Okay. As you see, the firefighter just took and hit this with his butt end of the flathead axe, crushing that in and preventing this door from coming down on firefighters that are now working inside this building. Just remember, firefighter safety is very important. 
first do truck companies, first do rescue companies. When you guys get on scene, make sure you have your tools in your hands to secure these doors, making sure firefighters can get out. I'm Joe Alvarez. Thank you for watching Fire Engineering's Training Minutes.